guys, so the other day I made that, uh, that bar of soap that I spun on the Lazy Susan when I poured it. And this is the end result of what it looks like. This is out of the mold. I've already gone ahead and cut it into pieces that I can work with. But um, it's got a real pretty swirl on the top. And rather than cut it this way, I'm going to slice it into halves and then cut it into pieces. So that way um, I can preserve that swirl. So. yourself a loaf splitter like this, they're a, a fairly invaluable tool. You can get one. This one's from Bud's Wood, Wood, Woodshop. Bud's Woodshop. And you can get them on Etsy. Just look them up. That's a good guy. I don't personally know him, but I like his product. So, in my book, he's a good guy. Right. I've also got this piece that's not quite a full, full piece for me, but I will cut it up probably into the travel size soaps. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. Now you know when you look at it, your your swirl is preserved on both pieces, and that way the entire bar of soap looks awesome by the time you're done. So I got a, I sell a bar that's four inches by three inches, so I just need to measure these out so that I can cut them across here is already four, so I'm just going to get the three inch lines going. same size as the soap that I already sell, you know, even though I did it in a different kind of mold. The edges aren't exactly straight, but you know, I'm not perfect. A, uh, a tie dye patchouli, so it goes with my UC Santa Cruz shirt here. I'm an alum, anthropology major, class of 1994. If that's aging me a little bit. Great college, though. Great community. Too expensive to live there, though. I'll go back if I could, and I'll be to love that beach town.
And then these guys, I'll uh, cut the travel bar. Let's see. Uh, Fold the shoulder in my ears. Give us a discount bar. Okay, sorry, I got interrupted by customers, but let's look at the final product, guys, on this. So I'll make it quick, but it's like a Rorschach test when you look at this. This is what that swirling allowed me to do. And then when I cut it horizontally instead of vertically, I'm allowed to get these crazy trippy images in my soap. I'm really pleased with this one. It turned out pretty cool. Well, there you go, guys. That's the sink strainer technique. That's the result of it. It's a pretty sweet looking uh, bar, if you ask me. All right, this is Bill Whole Life Soaps. These will be up for sale in a couple of weeks. Enjoy.